Joseph Obasa and Ian Espinosa for Perpetual. It's Arthur Roque, Ramirez, John Abis, Mark Denver Omega. And he's really a dominant force inside. And I know myself, he's had 20-20 <laughs> yes. versus us inside. Yes. During your game. Well, meanwhile, for Ateneo, close call in their last game as Espinosa gets blocked by Nitura. But inside again, that's a familiar finish by Kai Balungay. Kai Balungay, the talent that they've lost. On the side naman of Perpetual as Obasa erasing that shot. Recent NCAA Season 98 as we take a look at that defensive play of the game brought to you by Bola.TV. Joseph Obasa and so far has been a good preseason for them. And kumbaga, they're one of the dark horses in the upcoming Season 99 as Ian Espinosa knocks down a fray. Defonso, Fortsky Padrigao. So now he's in task to make sure he shows all of that. Mark Omega fakes and gets it up and in. So composed. Another miss. Two great looks by Kuhn and Balungay, but they just Ooh. miss out on that. That's Mark Omega. Rim run to the rim. Missed without Mark Omega as we see him. Straight sprint to the rim. Good finish as Mark Omega is your bola.tv. Fast break of the game player. Gets past Nitura. Floats one up. Doesn't work. Offensive rebound and an alley -oop play inside. Ateneo really just dominating. Three games, ticket. And we're expecting this one to be close as well, given the caliber of these two teams. Chris Kuhn drives. Obasa! Oh, the rim rocker! Joseph Obasa with a big slap. Timeout. Let's take a look at that once again. Joseph Obasa rolling hard. Two hand slam. You ask us if he can match Anj Kwame. Well, I think. It's possible he can dunk better than Anj Kwame, as we see right here. And that slam of the game. Blungay with another offensive rebound right there as Ateneo forces a steal. That came out of nowhere as Tuano adds on to the lead with a free. Urgency coming from the side of the Blue Eagles, although Barkuma with a steal and Razon with a scoop. So Ateneo right there turning the ball over. Game, especially coming off that tough win against Corsetars in which they trailed for most of the way as Barkuma banking in that one-hander. This time to win convincingly and that's something that they're going to try to do tonight. But you know, credit to those teams like the Corsetars, the Blazers, kahit yung Uratex nung first two quarters as Tuano with the second three-pointer. Razon with a running start against Katevis. Behind the backs, jumper, short, but they put back by Paguran. No numbers right there. This guy was your teammate in the Team B of Ateneo as Amos knocking down his three. Great find right there by Sean. Sean Moore for defensive specialist was on the offense space in the post. Jason Credo checks in for Coach Tab Baldwin. He drives. This is the last second to Obasa. That's Jace. One-hander. Malakas. Great, Great offensive rebound touch. Credo finding Amos. Ooh! A four-point opportunity for Mason Amos by Razon. Active hands by Razon, forcing the steal. Let's see if Perpetual can take advantage. Just Barkuma using his pivot foot. Footwork right there. Amos to trigger it in. Open free by Credo is good. Jason Credo steady. In and out. So that's two in and out jumpers for him. Let's see where Ateneo... Looks to go to in this transition. Oh, Obasa! Joseph Obasa. Oh, the left-handed throwdown. Line, but two, took two wide steps, jammed it with the left hand. And he is pumped up there as Nitura drains that mid-range J. Andre. Joseph Obasa got it from the three-point line, took two steps. And well, initially thought it was a travel, but... 1-2 perfect, left hand slam, no one wanted to contest that. Sure two for Obasa. And really feel the intensity of this game going up. Both coaches frustrated with the no calls. Both teams running really fast. Bodies falling. Ayan Espinosa with a quick jumper in the short corner. Putting the ball on his way up. Great deflection right there by Perpetual leading to a fast break. Two for June Roque. The handoff guarding Dito Kaimu. Obasa up top, they go to Celis, drives, kicks out. Ketevis 
Outside jumper is good. Big three for Sean Catevis. Razon against Espinosa. Sevilla back to Jelo Razon. High looping jumper and those shots have been tough to come by but inside they go. Which is why they finally gave up the two points. Hopefully they can get the defensive rebound sooner or later. Kiteve, Sakaliwa, Balungay. Three pointer drills it. Finally, Balungay hitting a three. Six seconds, Aya shot lock. Sevilla at the elbow. And Pagara, bailout jumper. And huge shot galing dito Saran with the board. Let's see what Mitura does with his specialties pushing the ball. Three-pointer on the way, and five straight points for Paga Seniors program in the qualifiers. And really made a good account of himself, despite the fact that he was only 18 that time as Jelo Cason draining that at that age. And right now, his team up by 18. One, and one minute and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Here he is, Mason Amos, fading away. That's his strength, we said it. Amos. Six seconds on the shot clock. He drives, fakes, inside. Oh, crafty move. Galing dito kay Marcos Nitura. Great move. Kai Sono in the house, fresh off a summer league stint with the Orlando Magic. And Jason Credo. Teneo back to their 10 or Princeton offense. By Balungay drilling in that three. That's what that offense in the summer. Pinoy Liga, and now they want the Asia Basket title. Credo Mintes, Obasa with the cleanup. Obasa just up this time. Mirror image sila ni Chris Kuhn, although very different games. As Nitura, tough shot, but Omega was there for the putback. So Mark Omega. Josh Nieto against Jeno Rason. Gets the ball back from Obasa. Popping out is Balungay for his third three-pointer. That's, that's big. Kai Balungay. You see all the defenders. Nitura against Kuhn. No, I didn't realize that Chris Kuhn is so tall. Dahil si Nitura is a good 6'3", 6'4", as in... Nitura play one-on-one. -on -one. You end up ball-watching and you allow backdoor cuts. Boral offering a... Pick to Jelo Razon, and that is just enough for him to drain that shot. It's not going away just yet. Down by 14. Obaza, offensive rebound, and just too strong inside. Too big, too strong. They just can't keep him. Doors. And that made Coach Tab Baldwin not a happy man on the sidelines, as well as this turnover. Nitura converting. That's First minutes for Coach Tab. Palungay pops out. Outside jumper, a long two. That's his third. He's showing his versatility on the offensive end. Really hard to guard for these perpetual bigs. Meanwhile, Razon pivots and scores on the other end. Now he guards Espinosa. There we see Ateneo back to Princeton action. High Ooh. post, Obasa <laughs> with his third dunk. <laughs> Man, Joseph 6, 53. So, 13 lang yung kalamangan ng Ateneo. Meanwhile, another jam brought to you by Bola.tv. Joseph Obasa, third dunk. And he now has 13 points. Three and third foreign student athletes tong dalawa as Chris Kuhn. So far, has struggled from the field. Nitura attacks. Oh, the crafty move, plus a foul. Garcia, Balungay, four seconds on their shot clock. Espinosa spins the left-handed wow. finish. Great move. I ain't a problem, nga, sabi mo. But good kind of problem. As we all know, Ateneo has always found a way to work on their plethora of that. Coach Epoch really just been doing a great job finding recruits for this Ateneo program. As we see JP Boral, tough finish over the... 5.7 seconds left. Lamang ulit ang Ateneo. Ateneo gets the turnover in the 2-2-1 trap. Oh. 
And they get the fast break score. Let's see if they stick to their 2-2-1. That's the important. You see the importance of good coaching, making the adjustments on the fly, catch the opponent off guard. But JP Boral responds with a short corner jumper. Player ever. And Shayu Ka is some player that wow. jersey was retired. Three pointer. That could be big. Not only do they keep it to start the fourth quarter. Well, referees will have to review if that counts. But great push by Espinosa, and I think that will count. Great. Yeah, swings it. Espinosa falls down. Amos, no foul call. Gio Chu, fifth time. Oh, Gio Chu with the put back. Great. They're, they're rewarded with two points. Nitura. Oh, good kick out pass. And that trickles in. Para dito kay Gelsano. We see here Cyrus Nitura finding Gelsano for the short corner jumper. From deep. Here he is. He tries once again. Wala pa din. Another offensive rebound by Abis. And Abis with a mid range J. Far in the fourth for Ateneo. Numbers para dito sa perpetual but good defense by Balungay but Jelo Cazon with a jumper. 6 and 14 left in the fourth. Nitura sidestep. Whoa! What a finish! Great overhead. Against Pagaran. Kick out pass. Balungay on the run. Oh, impressive finish. Great hop step. Avoids the defense. And great finish right there by Kai Balungay, switching from left to right. Makes it a nine point ball game, 83 74. And that was our Bola TV move of the game. Time out on the floor, magbabali kami. Game with their switching ball screen defense. Let's see how Ateneo counters. Carl Gamber still on the floor, just inserted late here in the four. He wow. nails a free. Right Big on shot. But the rookie is showing that he's ready for this moment. Makes this a dozen point lead for the Blue Eagles as Nitura with the left hand. That's Nitura. Marcus against Ketevis. In and out. Sak -sak -saloob again! Marcus Nitura. And Nitura cuts the lead into single digits. Just eight against Ketevis. Splits this. Double team. Oh, goes all the way for the acrobatic finish. And just a substitution. Para di sa session ball game. Cyrus Natura two times in a row now slicing through the lane, and he brings to us the Bola TV drive of the game. Yes, actually, he also got Uratex in there. And Perpetual electing not to go for the basket. As the final horn sounds in what has been a spectacular game to cap off the night, Coach Andre. It was a very physical game, but in the end, Ateneo's composure, Ateneo's reliability in executing their offense gave them the win. And the Blue Eagles prevailing over the Perpetual Altas 88 to 80. And the Blue Eagles remaining unscathed here, Coach Andre. Yeah, the Blue Eagles, not only are they undefeated, but they're number one in, they're most likely, I think, number one in their group. So they'll be heading into the quarterfinals, no advantage. They'll be facing the number four team.